Hey, we got action. It's your boy Alpha Carrillo here with SPG, and we're back with another video. We are playing Kona. Uh, I believe we're part eight. We're on part eight right now. So let's see what's going on. We are in the house of the Patriot. This is where we had to go to get the caribou drink for our old man uh, so we can get our sweater. We entered the cave. We went through all of that. Y'all need to catch up. Let's go back to video to part seven. You can see I'll exactly what happened. The owner of this place um, wasn't a copper collector. There's a lot going on. We, this was a junk man's base of operations. We learned something about a, uh, a windigo. Like quite the expert in scavenging scrap let's, metal. Let's, with let's the narrator finish. Let's right, finish off. All right, in now. Right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. Okay. So, these hooves that you see, the glowing hooves. Um, maybe something like Wendigo. So when they mentioned Wendigo, I was familiar with Wendigo. Um, I think from X-Men. It's like a beast. Uh, you remember the guy Lamont? At his garage, he was talking about something that was two times the size of a human and, and whatever, whatever. So uh, there's, there must be a beast out here or something. This is the first time we actually seen nighttime, which is crazy. Um, so what we're gonna do right now, I just wanna visit some of these places, right? Let's go back to the map. I've never seen that. Hamilton's house is way up there. He comes from the north. I don't even know if we can go up there. All right, so the doctor may have something to do with something. Um, we've been hearing a lot about him lately. Let's go back this way. Let's go check out these different places down here. We have another another cave to check out. We also have Bedard and Roy. Um, before we go there, we'll stop at Blias, and let's let's see what we find going going that route. All right. Wait, where's my snowmobile? Okay. Look at that, that's a... We can't lose track of, um... This Wendigo stuff, because I think that's... That's what that might be. So now, the, the, the light... The lit uh, footprints... We're going to consider that Wendigo prints, or... The tall monster Lamont was talking about. Alright. Let me follow these footprints. Hey, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? This way. Don't confuse y'all. Seems like I'm on a main road right now. Oh, that's water. Don't go that way. Hey, I really can't see. It's like nighttime for real, for real. Alright, let's just travel this way. Hey, let's get back on the main road. Let's do that. Let's do that. Alright, what is this over here? Hey, this is the garage. Okay. Hey, there was a grave up there from earlier too. All the Wendigo prints was kind of pointing towards, right? Maybe he killed people and buried them. Uh, I'm just confused. Let me see. I went the wrong way. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in the vehicle and we're gonna travel down the road. We're gonna miss. We're gonna skip the second house, third house, fourth house. All right. Take like a second left after we go down the winding road. Hey, we're gonna go to Bly's house. 
I'm going to meet y'all there. All right. All right. We popped up. We at Blyer's house. And it looks like, if I'm not mistaken... A wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. Lights the on. soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. Yeah. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. Uh, facts. Oh, they got the lights on, y'all. Yeah. Who closed this door? Alright, uh, first thing the first. Key which seemed to be meant for a padlock, bore an inscription reading Clutze et Fitz. Hmm, a company name. Better keep an eye open. Businesses weren't exactly numerous around these parts. The coals were still warm. Someone must have been stirring them up. Money in a jar. What a shame. Carl would have loved cookies. Well, so you just have a little bit to say about everything. Carl would have loved cookies. I need a fire starter, y'all. No, don't need cigarettes. I need a fire starter. The spirograph amused Carl. It was a nice modern toy. Aside from being repetitive by nature and completely useless. Still, it oh, found its way into many Quebecois homes. My sweet. Excuse me, here right I'm in a hurry. I have to leave her north. Mom and Miss Roy. As they say, it's far too bad as around here these days. I don't know how much of what was going on because Mom would tell me anything and attempt to reassure me. But all I know is she has the exact same expression on her face as when I started with her. Martin, he left with his mother and I guess a neighbor of some sort. And the fathers, the two guys, the husbands and whatnot, they went to go get uh, another chance, right? What is this? Journal entry. Give y'all time to read this. check that journal entry out. I think that's what we that's what we said we we're gonna do right we're gonna start checking journal entries so let's check that out real quick we have a new one oh wrong button um Okay, a letter from a child is helping me move forward with my investigation. Martin and his mother, along with Roy, took off northbound to find shelter. The men set out to warn Lachance. Yeah, so so we gotta go to Roy's crib too and see what's going on. Um, Yeah, so these people here, they was just trying to get up, like, trying to get away from uh, what's, whatever's going on. But his mother wouldn't tell him. I don't like this. I don't like this not one bit. It's alright. I'm a G. The best, worst detective ever. Oh, look, the light is on. Good. Man, I thought that was a bet. New journal entry. It's hard to say what the family is running from, but they're running from something. Yeah. 
You can tell the way that they packed. They didn't pack their clothes all the way. I think that's what he's referring to. Like they just kind of got up and went. Diary. Journal entry. Uh, where's the diary at? Nothing? His brother killed by what was earlier eaten alive. Alexander was really upset about it. Most would be for less. Alvin Alexander tried to warn those in danger. Trying is not enough. Luis, a shy woman, worried about the drama hitting her family again. Her first concern is her husband. It appears that she migrated towards the north with her son and a friend. The day before I arrived, I can't say more than that. The day before I arrived, he wrote a letter to his friend. Mary or Marie. This letter got lost under the furniture, and I know that Martin had no idea. It's your situation, uh, a child's gifts sometimes. Alright. So we don't know too much about that doctor, too, y'all. We gotta get to that doctor. See, he ain't got no, no information on his book. We know all these other dudes. These two uh, dudes right here, uh, Brett and Owen Hart. We know everybody, everybody else's situation. Her too. There's a she. I don't know. She's something mis mysterious about her. Cause something happened to her, and nobody know nothing. It's a lady. She out here. Maybe that's the the Wendigo. Oh, look at that there. The little boy seen it. He's seen it. He's seen dead people. All right, that's that's creepy. They be saying that too, like the kids know. Boy, you know you messed up today. Not today. After seeing that picture, no, no, no. There you go. Oh, that's a wolf. Hold up. Uh -huh. I'm not losing. Get the hell out of my house. What's wrong with you? I'm not, I'm not wasting bullets no more, bro. No, that's not what I'm doing. And you came in and did messing stuff up. I gotta look for a uh, a magnet. Remind, remind me to get a magnet, y'all. I think I'm done here. But where that wolf at? I got a key. Maybe to this thing over here. That wolf out here somewhere. I got the key to it, don't I? Hey, I could have sworn I picked the key up. There's not a key in here? Didn't I get it from right here? Come on, narrator, say something. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Not that. Don't say that, bull crap. I could have sworn I got a key, y'all.
Alright, well, I guess I didn't get a key. I thought I did, though. I'm not tripping, am I? I can't be tripping. No. That, that, oh, there you go, look. Crotier, it fills, it fills key. I don't know what that goes to. Alright, what we'll do is we'll go down to there. We gotta go to Bedard and Roy. And we gotta hit that cave up. But I need some heat. I ain't got no heat. I can't go out there yet. Come on, y'all. Nothing, right? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. My dude really be hurting. The bulb is burned out. All right. All right. Let's see if I can make it. Let's see if I can make it. We're gonna go. Bedard, so we just gotta stay on the road and take a right. Alright, if, if, if I do not freeze, I will see y'all. Uh, I'll see y'all there. We're going to Bedard's. 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 I'll holla at y'all soon. Giraffe. I don't know what's up with this giraffe, y'all. Hold up. On my way to Bedard's, I had to stop. I don't know what's up with this giraffe. Let me take a picture of it. Can't see nothing. Like the second time looking at seeing that uh, giraffe just sitting is in the boys room I think or the kids room in there all right all right off to Bedard's for real this time all right we made it to Bedard's house you got some stuff going on here there's a, uh, a shed there and then there's a the house there you go shed first, how about that? Anybody in here? Any wolves? That door closed on me. Hey, there goes some light. That's what we need. Got a got true here. Catholic always strives to keep lowly temptations at bay. Obviously, Carl thought, someone in this house wasn't doing a good Boy, job at upholding the Holy back there. Bible's teachings. Yeah, they hit they hide their they hit their habits back there. Hide it. Just hide it. Shut that up. Go over here, hide it. Don't need to hide. You are what you are, player. You are what you are. Alright, so I think I got a small key out of here. And I could come back and get some of that beer and some cigs. And some hard some hard uh whatever they are. Some bolts, hardware. Alright, cool. Maybe that small key helped me out of the house. My snowmobile's still on deck. Uh let's do what we do. 
You know, I don't like this really because it's nighttime. I really don't like walking around at night. I don't like this. I'm gonna get scared, y'all. Well, that's a strong win. Did go. <laughs> get it. Win. Did go. Carl was no burglar. He didn't need to resort to petty techniques such as window breaking to find his way in. A good detective simply looks for keys where gullible souls hide them. The house smelled like incense. Can I turn a light on? That reminds you of the good Lord of peace. Okay. All right, let's get to investigating. We are at Bedard's house, and how do they draw the sun? Uh, that was quite easy. Religion was very influential throughout Quebec many years ago. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here. Got some fire stars. That's what I need. Look at that attached wire thing again. Steak. Why is it that he only takes the steak? Like, you know, like pop one of those coats open, a Dr. Pepper, whatever that is. Uh, look at that, you got some. At least take the dish out. You took all the steak off of it. You got some good stuff going on there. Alright. Well, maybe I can just turn the lights on. Okay, there you go. Hey, there go that giraffe again, y'all. I don't, I don't know what's up with that thing. That's like the third time I've seen that little giraffe somewhere. Love of religion and ancestors was okay. rooted deep inside the Man, hearts of Canadians me. of old, to which the Bedards appeared to be closely related. That's it. I the can't family's get mother must have spent her days washing the filth off her kids' diapers. The empty cradle sent an eerie feeling down oh, Carl's okay. spine, as if minutes ago someone just grabbed the baby and made a run for it. That's what it looks like to you. That's just tripping. But look, there goes the, uh, hey, the, uh, the old guy. The old guy had a diaper just like that. So you mean to tell me the old guy out here is still in diapers? Can you put that in the journal? You got some dream catchers. Uh-oh, journal entry. Let's see what they got going on. Uh, this page one. The Bedards had vacated the premises. Carl gathered they would be of no help. Okay, so this is similar to what? Okay. Doctor Dupree told me it would start showing soon. And forever. God, it must have cursed said usual. Hmm. All right. Seems like somebody was knocking. Oh, they go to light. Somebody knocking boots. What's going on up there? She wasn't supposed to get pregnant. Is there a light in here? Okay. There you go. Shame that the family had bailed. Carl would have had a few questions for Jean Luc, a close friend of Hamilton's. Oh, but they 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 got up out of here, so he can't can't question him. The key fell in a burrow next to the shed. Bingo. Okay. That stupid giraffe. Is that the Pope? Good Paul VI, appearing papal. His crooked fingers gave the impression he was about to bestow a miracle. 
<laughs> so his crooked fingers gave you all of that, Mr. Narrator? Are you serious? Like his crooked fingers? Yeah, okay. So I got into the shed, but she said something about the side of Dad's shed. It seems like I got where I needed to go, right? Seem right to me. Is there something over on this side? I really don't want to wander too far away. Okay. Let me go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. So there was a shed that I couldn't get in. We just left there. And it was at um, the other place. So before we go there, let's go look at Roy's house and then we'll go back to that shed and see if we can find the key that fell down the side or whatever. So in order to get to Roy's crib, we'll get up out of here and take a right. Alright, I'll see y'all when we get there. Alright, we run up on Roy's house. We ran up on Roy's house. That wind blowing them trees all the way to the side. You see that? Oh, that's crazy. It looks kind of creepy though. I ain't gonna stunt. Alright, they got the dog. House. Empty bottle. Number 1556. We fled. It was getting too dangerous. Old people live in North Stan. Menestan. They'll be safer there. Alright. So it was a classic Canadian house, except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming above. So they just upped and left, right? Fantasy. Okay. Y'all wanna read it? Y'all go ahead and pause. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Wait, matches. It's outside. Let's close that. I'll take that. Go ahead, narrator, say something. This is part four.
is that the crazy well not the crazy but the uh the lost the lost girl or the crazy situation going on where Patrice, is that the girl name now? Okay. A Jew no knows. <laughs> One night, as he was contemplating his cell from his bed, he swore to himself again and again, I'll kill her. His dreams were later filled with images of the crime. Oh my goodness. One funny thing. Bro, this dude tripping. He out here. Konopoli. Konopoli. You win if you pass, go. That's the reason why he said that, right? Yeah, um. Matthew. Matthew. Uh -uh. A picture of Wilfred in his youth. Carl figured right away that the man must have been some kind of wildlife officer. The couple mm. radiated something akin to lightheartedness. To freedom. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. The photograph was snapped not too far from here, Carl noticed. The couple seemed to be very good friends. Yeah, that did look like the other house. <laughs> I'm just saying stuff. Well, I'm pretty sure it is, but I don't know. All these houses look the same to me. Simon de Beauvoir. Claude Levi Strauss, Claude Hannah Arendt, Strauss. Roland Barthes. Carl was surprised by the literature filling this liberal leaning bookcase. Could there really be intellectuals dwelling in this far off land? Alright, well. Let's go read his journal real quick. So, the Bedard family. It's not home. The Roy's, no except, uh, no exception. They left too. Don't know what they're running from. They're probably running from Matthew. That boy tripping. Let's see. If we got some information on Matthew. I don't see nothing else. Why is that X'd out like that? Oh, could we know about Roy? But I guess not his wife. Uh, law and order in the forest around the region. He's a gamekeeper. It makes him the only authority figure for several miles around. Okay, so he's more like a police officer for the village. So the day before I arrived, he saw something that convinced him to leave. Such bravery coming from a gamekeeper. He led to the north with his wife. While escaping, the Roys took a detour to see the Bly's family. From there, Wilfred and Alexandra went out looking for Lachance. The threat must have been huge for him to go through all that trouble. All right, so he's a ranger. He out here running from something, and everybody like, not nah, okay. That's that's his wife, I guess, right there. Uh, her husband left home with her. I still don't know why. While driving, they stopped by the home. From there, the woman continued to escape to the north in Blas cars, ladies only. Okay, yeah, they, so they all left together. We know that. It would appear to good. Uh, not even know it's supposed to be able to be pretty. Which made her wife not hold on. The village had to be all the things. So they all went up to the to the grandmother, Mary J and Mary P, the eldest and the youngest of the better families, Bedard family, two little girls, uh, without history from the family who reminded the black woman instead of Dr. Marsh, four girls reminded of the story, story, but 
He was a kid, but it was. So we knew about that. I think we need to go check out the doctor, y'all. And we still, oh, uh, well, we knew her name already. Lauren, so that's not the chick, I don't think. We need more research with the girl. So, the doctor and the girl, we need some more research with them. And we also need to go figure about figure out about that key, right? So, we were at Bly's, and he has a shed that we cannot get in. We need a key. So, hey, so that, that'll be it for right now, though. Uh, we made some progress. We went and figured out some more things going on. I am very convinced now that something, whatever it is, has to be very intimidating since the ranger, the only sort, uh, the only form of authority in this town, this village, actually got spooked and left with his family, got his neighbors, went and checked on the chance, you know, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, when we come back, what we're going to do is, well, like I said, get that key from on the side of the shed, go into that shed, see if we can get some more things going. And then we gotta go visit the doctor to see what's up with him and that missing girl. And we can figure out what happened to Hamilton ultimately. Cause there's a big twist. There's only like a 25 people all together in this village. And it seems like everybody plays a part. So as you've been your boy Alpha Carrillo, and you guys remember, uh, stop playing games. And I'ma holler at y'all next time. Peace.